Revelation 2112, from the 13th of October 1941. Fighting the Spiritual God's Intervention Everything divine and sublime is pulled down by people, and they take no offense at mocking or laughing at things that are serious and sacred to their fellow human beings. And therefore it will be easy for the earthly power to take up arms against everything spiritual. It will not encounter difficulties if it wants to carry out drastic changes in the spiritual sphere. On the contrary, it will find approval for all its orders. And this proves the disenchanted state of humanity, it also proves the necessity of intervention on the part of the eternal deity. The world and its followers will not be prevented from carrying out what it plans, because this will eliminate other abuses. But God will bring help through his intervention to those who are faithful to God and to whom the harsh measures apply, for they will find themselves in a situation where they will be extremely pressed and in danger of becoming weak. For people know no mercy because they themselves are completely distant from God. The slightest contradiction is punished with the harshest penalties, and the world finds this right and just. For it only sees the earthly and therefore approves of it when people are deprived of the opportunity to be spiritually active on the grounds that the time could be used more beneficially if the person is looking for a field of activity. And thus the believers will be forced to find themselves in silence and their plea will ascend to the Father that he should take care of their adversity. And God will hear them. He will strengthen his own with comfort and strength, and no matter how small the circle of true believers will be, they will nevertheless achieve the greatest spiritual success. For then the human being will take refuge in God more than ever and not want to give him up. For only now will faith come alive. What was previously still a form will either be completely surrendered or defended with tenacity, because it will now be recognized as the most precious thing man possesses on earth. But people are always given knowledge of God and his working, and what the human being only believed before has now become an incontrovertible certainty for him, and since the human being now knows, earthly measures do not frighten him, he continues his path undeterred and remains faithful to God. And God needs these few to work for him in the coming time. Amen.